What's happening, ladies and gentlemen, fellow YouTubers? Welcome. On this video, I'm actually going to talk about the new ground weapon that you guys probably already obtained, and I didn't because I missed out a couple of days. But I actually grabbed myself finally <laughs> this weapon. And this one is called the Arena Pulse Wave. Um, now this thing is obviously uh, when you complete uh, the current arena of Stompang that is going on. That's basically about to end. Uh, when is this going to end? August 17th all the way to September 7th. Uh, today is September 3rd the time of this recording so you still have a couple of days to obtain this thing if you don't already have all of the tokens that is needed to obtain this thing um but for those that are uh that have this weapon already unlocked on their character i just double clicked on that awesome <laughs> And it opened up, it gave me the pulse wave right here now. It's definitely an awesome weapon, I believe. I still have, um, uh, like you guys just saw, I still haven't opened it up or read anything about this uh, weapon, to be honest, because I blame Cryptic. You guys did a bad job. Uh, <laughs> you guys did a really bad and terrible job or uh, of like promoting this weapon. No statistics has been, has been given on this thing. No, like, you know, no uh, promos, no nothing. It's just like, here it is a uh, event that we're going to be uh, having. And uh, the weapon is, you know, uh, the weapon is going to be this and that's it. So anyway, uh, this is just me rambling on a little bit about Cryptic and the way they're not doing their job. In my personal opinion, obviously, uh, they're not doing their job really good promoting these things. And also the fact that this thing is character bound. So all of the... Um, if you guys have made uh, like the the, the uh, event, if you actually uh, made this event all the way like 14 times on your character, you can unlock it, but only on your character. It's not account unlock. So, you know, uh, hopefully one of developers or anybody from Cryptic that has a little bit of power can actually watch these videos and from now on make everything that is event based account unlock. So we don't have to do this thing over and over and over again on different characters because that is just you know that is not good anyway um i got this one thing right here and let's read a little bit on the statistics more details right here the stompak pulse wave crit d and crit h so critical severity and also critical chance very nice this pulse this pulse wave harms uh no uh, harness says the power of magnetic induction to allow the use of expel short electrical burst on damage. Allow the user to expel short, uh, short uh, electrical burst on damage. Furthermore, this weapon is equipped with a small capacitor which enables the user to periodically drop power from it to keep the shield operating at max efficiency. Okay, this is this is new. Inductive bolt. Okay, so this is the primary. Fires a static width wave that damages up to three targets in its path, uh, with also applies a damage over time effect to them. Additionally, the damage over time effect will repel the ally. We repel the allies of the target. Oh, okay, the enemies. Okay, cool. Uh, just words. They actually worded this differently. Inductive bolt delivers more um, damage at closer range and has chance to repel. Okay, so 20 meter range is basically standard uh, 0 0.76 meter cylindrical. Okay, so it's basically a cylindrical blast from uh, your character point of view. So everything uh, in the forward arc with 0 0.75 seconds to activate. Uh, it's going to deal electrical damage, 121.9 electrical damage with 162.5 DPS. Uh, damage reduces over range, so the further you are, it's going to do uh, less damage. 50% chance to plus 3 repel, I'm guessing that's plus 3 in its uh, repel status. Um, applies inductive scattering to target. No idea what this is, the inductive scattering, maybe we'll read it later on. 
109.4 electrical damage every one second for two seconds. Oh, okay. So this is that inductive scattering. So he's basically going to get twice this amount. Uh, okay. Every one second for two seconds. Awesome. And also repair, uh, repels nearby foes. I think this should be nearby enemies. But anyway, 2% uh, critical time. Okay, that's standard. Uh, skill that affect this ability. Improve weapon damage for ground and also improve ground uh, weapons and unarmed targets. Now, I do have to say one thing. This is just disclaimer. All of these number statistics right here are based off of my character, my um, abilities that I have, my skills, my uh, skill points, and yada, yada, yada. So you guys might have a totally different numbers right here, but it's just the basic statistics of this thing because it is a Mark 13. Okay, so it is not the normal Mark 12. It is Mark 13. Um... And this is the secondary, so inductive wave releases an expanding wave that can hit multiple enemies at a large cone area while also applying a damage over time effect to them. Additionally, the damage over time effect will repel the allies to the target. The inductive wave delivers, uh, delivers more damage at close range, obviously, and it has a chance to knock back. This weapon can expose targets, something that we are definitely familiar with. With pulse waves, uh, target maximum at f at five, so 50 meter range in a 45 degree cone. So just like you know, the 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 um, the forward facing of your character is going to be like you know in a cone shape. Uh, 1.25 second to activate with an eight second cooldown or recharge time. Also dealing 192 electrical damage with 32 DPS. Damage reduces over range with 66% chance to knock back plus 7.5 meters. That's nice. And this thing also applies the inductive scattering to target. It's going to apply um, 109.4 electrical damage with one second over a two second duration. Also repels enemies. And 2% critical chance, 20% uh, critical severity. That's a basic standard these days on weapons. And the pushback ability or the knockback ability that this thing comes equipped with is called the inductive revitalization, if I'm reading that right. All right, the inductive revitalization generates the user shields while forcing enemy, uh, forcing nearby enemies away due to the force of the energy Expulsion. Expulsion? Expulsion. Okay. Uh, amount of regenerated uh, increases with number of target hits. Affected for 4 meter sphere. Okay. What the hell is this? Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. 0 0.5 seconds to activate with an 8 second cooldown. Plus, okay, 25 shield regeneration plus 25 additional shield regeneration per target hit. So if you have more enemies closer to you when you activate this thing, it's going to give you more shield regeneration. Also, 11.7 in repel and critical severity and critical chance. Why does this thing have critical severity and critical chance on a pushback ability? I wonder. Um, I am in a PvP map because I want to have some dummies to fire up on. But first of all, we are definitely going to equip this thing and show the way it is on my back. Let me remove the HUD. There it is on my back. Okay. Is that something, you know, really amazing to be looking at, to be honest? Okay, let's draw it out. Maybe it's going to change. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. This thing pulsates. Nice. Okay. Okay, I like it. The um, kind of glows, it kind of pulsates in uh, when it's colors. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I like it. Kind of reminds me of some kind of like Halo gun or something like that. The way it is uh, being held. Anyway, let's let's do some target practice. Um, I do have a couple of buffs right here that I can use, uh, but I do want the pushback ability. Hold on a second, pushback, pushback. Okay, one, two, huh? Oh yeah, this is that. Yeah, this is that. So we have the uh, <laughs> the primary right here. 
the sec yeah, right the primary gives out a uh, cylindrical uh, area of effect kind of dial deal and the secondary gives like that cone ability so everybody is going to get hit and this pushback ability i have no idea shield heal and repel now there is a theme going on in SDO right now yeah, when they introduced like the Lucari as like you know as a uh, reputation tier everything has to do with electrical damage so all of this has been done uh, through electrical uh, um, uh, damage. I uh, also want to say that I'm on Tribble right now that's why you guys are seeing Sakuda 3 because I copied my character like three times because I want to upgrade this thing and uh, see how it is going to perform when it is at top tier. So let me do that right now. That is just my standard weapon. And let me also upgrade this thing uh, with tokens that I have right here. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Okay, rarity has been upgraded. That's always nice. Mm, nope didn't upgrade that time because I do want to see uh, what kind of modifications we are going to get when this thing yeah there it goes oh no it's only uh, very rare nice uh, technology points no I don't want technology points why am I doing technology points research there it goes Nice. All right. So this thing is fully upgraded right here. Um, so you guys can see the, the mods that you're going to get. So you're going to get critical uh, chance times two. Wow. Okay. And critical severity and uh, damage, critical chance and damage. Wow. Wow. Definitely worth upgrading this thing. Are you kidding me? So it has critical chance times three. It has one, two, two damage modifiers and one critical severity modifier. Okay. Wow. Man, this might be my new uh, personal uh, weapon of choice. Because this one doesn't have critical chance that much. The Bolian. All right. Uh, no, this one. The other one. Right there. Okay. So... I do want to say, if anybody on Cryptic is 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 looking or is watching this video, I do want to say, like, could you guys introduce some kind of like uh, side effects on on weapons that have been fully upgraded? I know that there are like uh, weapons that have like this electrical stuff uh, going around them, and I might give you guys a little bit of a video a video uh, uh, where that is being showcased uh, to actually uh, uh, show you guys what I actually mean, but. All of the other MMOs actually have that. Like if you have like end gear uh, or at least uh, uh, high end gear uh, weapons and stuff like that, they kind of have like, you know, some kind of sparks and, you know, those kind of stuff. It would be fun to to uh, to actually enjoy. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Let's see the... Uh, all right, crouch. Crouch and aim. Uh, and let's see the primary right here. Ooh, okay. It did spread out. Whoa, this guy is almost dead. It did spread amongst other enemies, so it does carry over. Okay, nice. There it goes again. What if I target... Okay, he's dead. <laughs> what if I target him? Okay, it does chain off of this. It does again. Nice. Oh, this is awesome. And the... Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, this thing, this thing is totally awesome. And also has a really short uh, um, cooldown timer, like we already read about this thing. Uh, let me revive these guys again. So here we are back. Uh, these guys have been revived. Um, so the primary is definitely awesome. It has like a really short, um, a short cooldown, so you can basically use it over and over and over again. Kind of reminds me of like the stun pistols because they <laughs> really have a really short cooldown timer and definitely awesome in my book. All right, secondary. Here it comes. Ooh, what? Oh my god! 
Are you for real? Wow. Oh, this secondary is awesome. Wow, that animation, that is just crazy. Now, don't uh, mind like all of these green stuff that is coming off of my character. That is just, you know, personal traits and buffs and stuff like that that I have. But only the lightning, that is just sick. Wow, that is crazy. I like it. This might be my new favorite gun. And I wish I had, no, I had unlocked this thing on my all of my characters. Look at how this thing is like totally beast. Wow. And it does that. Okay, so it, yeah, those uh, those secondary actually came in. Uh, what was it called again? The inductive scattering. That's going to do damage over time ability. So every one second it does a couple of... Uh, uh, damage or a couple of DPS towards your enemy even though you're not actually targeting them Wow that's awesome like I said this thing is definitely gonna be my personal new weapon that I'm going to hold in my uh, in my book um, definitely the, the primary is awesome because it changes off <laughs> this guy's dead because it changes off somebody and the secondary is awesome Wow look at that it can actually kill some some like you know uh, enemies uh, during that damage over time ability because it like chains off of that. Well, that's awesome. All right, let's see these this pushback ability that we're talking about. You kind of need to be really close. Ooh, what? What was that? Stop doing aiming. What the hell was that? Ah. <gasps> Oh, that's awesome. Did it recharge my shield? Oh, kind of need to have my shields lowered a little bit. All right, let me set that up. Okay, this is as close to shields. Ah, come on. Nah. It did recharge that. Uh, you guys just saw a 125 uh, recharge on my shields. And that's basically one fifth, one sixth. Something in that nature of my own personal uh, shield hit points. And it did push all of these guys away from me. So really awesome ability if you're crouching. You can also use this thing. Just push them back. Wow, this is awesome. This gun has everything. Now, it is killing the enemies. Uh, or at least my enemies. These these NPCs that I'm actually utilizing uh, really quick. Even though they're not, you know, they're not having the best shields and stuff like that. I'm actually want to sh uh, showcase this um, on uh, on Kobali Prime. Maybe the, you know, maybe the enemies, uh, the NPCs, are going to have a tougher time than you know than uh, character uh, than uh, characters um, that we actually play with. All right, let me just let me set that up. Now I'm just gonna go outside of this um, encampment. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Just to find a couple of enemies that I can uh, dish some damage to. I do have my gambling device that I want. A couple of other buffs that are helping me out on this matter. Uh, can I actually show you guys? For somehow my critical chance on triple it has been set to zero I don't know what that what the deal is with that but my critical chance is set to zero <laughs> uh, critical severity almost at 200% here we go uh, buff the, kill this guy wow that is such an awesome uh, fast recharge ability now let's use the secondary on these guys boom Oh, that is insane. Look at that. Is there anybody? Oh, there was somebody here. That is that is sick. Look at target. Oh my god, it killed it almost killed everybody in one shot. Look, it's doing damage over time. This guy is you still surviving? How are you surviving? Die. <laughs> nice. Stupid rock, move. Secondary again. I like it. It does give that pushback. It does give that 
my god, this is gonna be my favorite gun right now. I'm not even going to use the Bolian cannon anymore. <laughs> this is gonna be the my uh, favorite uh, one to use. All right, I'm also going to... Am I at the same spot again? Wow, how did I do that? Anyway, I am going to buff uh, this gun a little bit with all of my normal buffs and uh, see how far I can actually um, upgrade this. No, don't want to use that. Uh, I do want a couple of enemies. You guys will do. Here we go. I'm gonna buff, 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 and see how much damage it's going to do. 800, 400, 400. Now it's doing a low amount of uh, DPS because my critical chance has been reset to zero, even though crits are going good. That guy was a little bit tough to kill. Shield recharge. Nice! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. In the 300 range. Wow. More of there. Nice! Now, I'm not seeing a lot of expose attacks, to be honest. But that just has to do with the primary of this weapon firing like crazy. What is this? It's gonna be like a mortar or something. This guy is still surviving. Are you kidding me? Soldier. Soldier, you're dead, mister. Wow, this thing is definitely OP if you can uh, have a, a good setup. Look, it's chaining off to everybody else. It is awesome. All right, give me some shields because my shield is almost done. Nice. Wow. Look, the primary, and I do want to mention one thing again. The primary, because it has that fast activatable uh, cooldown, it's not allowing the secondary to uh, be fired. So uh, keep that in mind. And that is something um, that you want to... Um, to keep in mind with if you're going to do like DPS uh, rotations on your on your ground build and you want to activate your um, your primary or at least your secondary first before your primary because in all of the like you know all of the ground that you're going to be doing you basically need the the, the primary not to fire that often because it's going to interrupt the firing of uh, the secondary where am I at the map? Uh, are there enemies right this this way? Okay. Where are the enemies? Right here. Nice. Nice. Personal shield losing power. Now we need a couple of enemies right here to heal my shields. I did heal them like 200 or something, 200 hit points. Nice. All right, let's do aiming. No, not the other gun. That one. Nice. Did. Wow, this thing is this thing is awesome. Wow. Nice. I'm not seeing any high crits to be honest, but that has to do with because I'm on triple. Maybe they're just doing something really weird up here, because I usually have crits about two or three thousand on a normal base, but right now, not getting any. Um, definitely, this thing is an awesome weapon, guys. I hope you guys have unlocked it as well, because look at that. It's chaining off of everybody, and it's doing short work of all of the other enemies that were near here. Oh, you guys still want some? You want some? <laughs> Look at that. This is definitely an awesome weapon when you have like uh, a lot of enemies grouped together because it changes off. Like these guys right here, these are like four dudes right here. Let me do the secondary. Look at that. Crazy, right? Wow. Nice. 
Well, I have to say one thing because these uh, the primary the indu inductive bolt because this thing has a really short, uh, like I said before, this has a really short uh, animation time and also activation time. This might interrupt your uh, buff because first of all, what you need to do is you need to, you know, uh, start buffing all of your abilities and then fire your weapon. So your weapon is going to be fully buffed before it's actually going to, uh, it's going to be fired at your enemy and this short duration is not going to give all of the other buffs and I can actually show you guys that because I have these guys right here on my buffs so if I'm going to buff first then I'm going to buff 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 and then fire right that is the normal pace that you guys want to have this thing set at uh, but if this bolt uh, the, the primary if it's going to fire before uh, hand, you're not going to be able to buff your weapon uh, fully, and that is just, just like that. That is that is that's awesome. Why is this guy immune? Were you healing him? Were you healing him? Were you giving him shield hit points? Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm basically going on and on about this gun. Definitely an awesome looking uh, weapon to be honest and also has that that lightning I definitely love the animation that it gives when it's uh, when it's actually fired upon and it looks really mm, Looks okay. It doesn't look like OP uh, But it looks looks badass <laughs> It looks badass Anyway guys I hope you guys had a little bit of entertainment coming out of this channel. See you on the next one. Later, later.